We have text behind a moving video. Let's make it break through and come to the front. Let me show you how. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find a video. And if you, with your subject and remove the background in that video, I already have one here. Um, what I want to do, I want to crop that a little bit because you can see, you can see some uh, grass down there. So let's take that part out. Done. Let's make her a little bit bigger. Uh, I might want to lengthen the time a little bit on this. So what I want to do now is I want to go here and my photos and give her a cute little background. Let's take her to the beach. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to go set the image as the background. And now she's just rolling around on the beach. She's as happy as a little clam. So now I want to go get me some text. Um, add a text box. And I want to put her name and I and and I E. I want to go up here. Let's see which one do I like for her. That's the one I like for her. And then I want to make this nice and big. So the first thing I did with this is I wanted to get in here and get my text effects going. Come on, snap out of there, baby. And we can make it a little bit bigger. Put it behind there. I'm going to put it here where she's wiggling. So I'm going to get my text effects going. I'm going to let's do an outline. I want my outline in a pink. And then I want my interior to be white. So then what I want to go is go up into position. And I want to move it behind her. So let's go behind her like so. So now that I have it like this, you can do it two ways. If you have a solid video, what you're going to want to do is split your video. That's why I lengthen this because it's a very short video. So what I want to do is I want to kind of split it midway or wherever you want to split it and have it come through. So you go ahead and then you split the page. And then what you want to do on your second part of your split is what I did is we're going to take our text. And then what I want to do is I want to take the effect effect out. I'm going to put none. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go up here and I want to change the color to what my outline was. And then what I want to do after that, I'm going to go into my position and I'm going to move that in front of her. Now, what you need to do now is you're going to go in between your two pages. You're going to go hit your add, add transition button. We're going to go to match and move. We're going to take the duration all the way up. So you see these big purple spaces here. Now we're going to go play and see what you have. And then when it does, it's going to fade up and fade into solid. And there you go. And that's how easy that one is. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You can do like a solid into a solid or a different color. That's just up to you. But I kind of like the little the outline and then filling it into a new color. And that's a short little quick tutorial on how to do that. My name is Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.